when 33 and a third was created, that opened up a whole different world of possibilities. But a number of things happen in, in the meantime, too. You end up getting stereo music. And with stereo replacing mono, uh, a lot of the music that had already been sold was re-recorded or remastered in stereo. So then once people already had a recording in mono, they'd go out and they'd buy it in stereo. When they had it on 78 RPM and they got a new record player that played 33 and a third, they'd go buy the same music on a 33 and a third. And this is actually called, uh, more contemporarily, it's been called the CD replacement cycle. I call it the album replacement cycle because you're replacing any kind of album that you, any kind of musical recording that you own, you're replacing it in a new format. 